What's up everyone? Hope you guys had a great Christmas and were able to spend some time with your families. I know I definitely had a good time. So what I've got here behind me is an 03 CR250 engine and it is not wanting to shift. So I'm gonna bust it all the way apart and figure out what's going on with it. And I know I look like Red Nose the Reindeer right now. It is freaking cold in here. But nonetheless, I'm excited to bust this motor apart. Let's get going. All right, I'm gonna show you what's going on with this thing. I'm gonna pop the shifter onto the shaft. So going up is completely lock solid. Doesn't really matter if I turn over the engine or the counter shaft, it's still lock solid. And then going down is not really doing much either. So hoping it's something simple, but we'll figure that out soon. So this cylinder is just chilling on here. It's not bolted down at all. I'm gonna pull that off and then move on to pulling off the flywheel and stator. Now I'm gonna transition over to the clutch side. And as you can see, there's a lot of missing bolts on these covers. So I'd venture to say there's probably some missing parts inside too. Bummer deal. I've got a broken outer clutch cover. So this is another part I'm gonna have to replace. So the first thing you notice, the plates are gone, the pressure plate's missing, and on this inner hub, one of the studs for the pressure plate, this one right here, is busted off. So this inner hub is junk too. Well, here lies the problem guys, on the shift shaft. This is the one that goes through the cases and the shifter bolts on on the other side. So this hole right here is supposed to go over that pin. So that's an easy fix. I could probably just do it right now. Just like that. So it should be working fine now. Let's test it. All right, I've got the shifter mounted up and I'm gonna test the shifting assembly. So I'm gonna pull up, see what it does. So that's clicking it into gear and then going down. And it always helps if you're spinning the transmission when you're shifting. This helps it pop into the gears a little easier. So I'm gonna find neutral, go all the way down and halfway up. Should be right there. And how to test if it's in neutral going to spin this main shaft and then the counter shaft won't spin. They'll spin independent of each other. And so I can turn them against each other and they're not locked. But then if I go down into first gear, so now I'm in first gear, they're locked against each other. One will not spin without the other spinning. And then it's the same through all the other gears. So it's in first gear now, I'm gonna pop it in a second. And we've got third, fourth, and fifth. So it looks like everything's good to go with the shifting and transmission. All right, I'm gonna finish tearing this thing all the way down since I'll be replacing the crank, crank bearings and seals, and all the gaskets. You know I'm not one to break promises. Something inside that I need to release Which way is right, which way is wrong 
So this is how I'm organizing all the bolts and smaller parts from the engine so far. I've got Ziploc bags labeled clutch and shift. So all the shift components, all the little bolts and springs are in here. And then I've got all the clutch parts in this bag. Now it is on to splitting the cases. I've got some bolts on this side of the engine to pull out. And then I can split this thing in two. You know what, I'm gonna try splitting the cases from the left side. I've always preferred going from the right, but I've seen a few people split from the left and I'm gonna give it a shot, see how I like it. I'm actually really surprised with the condition of this bottom end. Didn't really come across much that was messed up. Transmission's in really good shape along with the shifting components. Cases are actually super nice, although a bit dirty. So that's a huge plus. And the only things that'll really need replacement are the cylinder. I gotta do something with it, either replate, resleeve, or just buy a new cylinder. Gotta buy a new hub, it's got a broken stud. And while I have the engine apart, I'm gonna toss in a new crank too. I tell you what guys, I am really stoked for the next video. I'll be cleaning up the subframe, the swing arm and the frame. Gonna be getting these things as close to new as I possibly can. And I gotta clean the frame outside in 20 degree weather. That's gonna be fun. But this is gonna be a mind blowing video, so keep your eyes peeled. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and write me a comment down below. I'll check in with you soon. See ya.